Covering Clay County, where a sinkhole that grew overnight to 60 feet in diameter has several Keystone Heights neighbors on edge. And you'll see why. This is a picture that was taken earlier today that shows the deepest part of that sinkhole. This hole is located right outside a home near the intersection of Princeton Street and Auburn Avenue. Authorities have taped off the surrounding area because they fear that hole is getting larger. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny, live from that location where the firefighters are asking people to not venture past that caution tape, and we can see why, Eric. Yes, Kent. Well, right now the uh, the sinkhole is located on private property, but as you can see, authorities are trying to keep people away uh, from this street. This is Princeton Street. Uh, that's because they fear that that sinkhole is continuing to grow, and they're not sure the roadway here can handle a lot of weight. 100 feet is almost on their house. So. Tabby Castro tells News for Jacks her neighbor across the street was having a new underground pump installed for his well when he learned a well drilling truck that was left parked in the front yard appeared to be slowly sinking into the ground. We didn't notice it till about 10 o'clock, 10.30 last night when our pump, our pump went out. We have no water or anything due to the sinkhole. Between late Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, neighbors say the diameter of the sinkhole grew to 60 feet. This is cell phone video that was recorded right after the well drilling truck was removed. Notice how deep the ground had sunk. From 6 o'clock this morning, it dropped another 20 foot, I mean 10, uh, 2 foot. Hilda Smith knows the owners of the property. She says they were forced to vacate their home after the hole got bigger. They're going through a lot because they got a three-year-old grandson they're taking care of. And it's kind of hard. He had to take off from work and everything. This happened really sudden, trying to build a pump, and this is what happened. Smith's daughter, Tabby, lives across the street from the sinkhole. How concerned are you that this thing could grow? Very concerned because they have nowhere else to live if that happens. It's very scary because we don't know. I mean, we live here, and we could lose our house at any moment. If it keeps sinking, they're thinking it could go another 100 feet. Right now, nothing can be done to fix that problem until firefighters have confirmed that the hole is no longer growing. Uh, so if that's why we're constantly seeing firefighters come out here periodically uh, to check on that hole, to check its status, to see if it's growing or if the growing has stopped. Reporting live in Keystone Heights, Eric Avigny, Channel 4, The Local Station.